Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to shoot two hard drives. It's a bit, sounds a bit boring, but many of you are asking me about this e-commerce stuff, white background, you know, and uh, I will not do that today, <laughs> but it's kind of similar because that kind of stuff is very simple. Maybe I can show you s almost something like this with one light, just, you know, one softbox from top, white, and then you're done, you know. So um, we are trying to do something more fun today with the hard drives. As always, Canon 5D Mark IV. And today I don't have the the macro lens. Today I have a 85 mm 1.2 for some reason. It was on. I didn't. I couldn't find. It's a mess. I haven't unpacked everything. I've been traveling, and uh, this was <laughs> this was what I found. 85 mm, but it will work perfectly. And um, as usual, we have the Pro Photo. I was I wondering if you you know. Profoto is, uh, is a Swedish brand. Should I say Profoto? But everyone says Profoto, you know. But it's actually Profoto. So should I say Profoto? And here is the second camera. Hello. And there you can see the two hard drives. Very, very tiny, tiny. Very beautiful. I chose to go with the, the golden ones. I will take the first shot. And then we have a first shot. Everything is black, you know. As usual, we start with black. So the ambient, the LED lights will not go into the picture. You're always starting with choosing your aperture. And why did I choose eight? Well, if I had only one hard drive, then I would probably go lower. Because I only want to make sure, I only want to make sure, I, I want to make sure that the whole hard drive is in focus. But now I have two, then I went up a bit. The value went up to F8. So now both are kind of in focus. So we have a black frame and how to start here? Actually, I started with this guy. It's a Profoto D2 with a zoom reflector and a honeycomb grid, 10 degrees. And if we turn that on, I think it's A. Now it's on. The light goes through this uh, diffusion frame and I build this. And if you want to know how to build them, then you can go to my website, become a member. Actually, you have to become a coffee supporter. So I can have some coffee here in the studio. So then there is, will come out special videos and I just released the first one and I will show how I build the diffusion and diffusion frames. Okay. Thank you, coffee supporters. This is the first light from top. So let's take a shot. What do we get? This is what we get. Very nice highlight on the top there. And we get the overall light of this gray background. If I put up the power of the flash, like one, two, three, you know when the power is on maximum, when this one's starting to sound like a bird. Okay, let's take a shot now. I put on maximum power on this. There you have the soft box from top. I mean, if you roll out, uh, white or gray probably it's easier to use a gray background to get it white because otherwise you it will be it will be dead dead data it will be uh, blown out you know if you're using a white when you're trying to get a nice light on the product so maybe it's better to have a gray background and then you're using a big softbox from top this is actually, this is like a softbox, you know, uh, it's kind of small, but uh, 
flash shooting through diffusion. It's like a softbox. So I wonder if this is this really maximum. The bird. Now, now, this is maximum power. One flash through diffusion. Look, here you have your e-commerce shots, I would say. I go four stops down with the light. Yes, we, I think we were around there. So this is how I would like to start. And we get two nice uh, rim lights on the, on the top there. So now let's turn on the second light. We have on the right side, B, on, guide light. Let's take a shot. Boom! And it's just, it's this one shooting from the right side, hitting them both. It's kind of uh, powerful. We can take it down a bit. Yes, now it looks a bit nice, yeah. And uh, what do we have here? I'm feathering the light. I mean, I'm not, this is not all the way down and it's like straight on. The main light goes like this, passing by, over. And that means we're using the edge of this honeycomb grid and it will become a nice gradient on the hard drive, it's like it's brighter here and then it fades down, you know. It gets a bit more interesting. No, it's boring when it's flat. It's always nicer when you have a bit of gradients going into the dark, I think. Is this it? Is this a picture? Well, I, I have another, I have a third actually flash, but first I would like to say this light source, it's kind of small and you can tell by the cast shadows from the hard drives. You see, it's kind of sharp edge, small light source, and they become kind of, they're very, they're a bit too clear for my taste. I wish they were a bit softer. I think we should put on a diffuser. The hard drives, they are matte material, so we do not actually need a diffusion. We can use a bare flash, and the material will take care of the nice gradients because it's matte. If it was shiny, the old trusty is starting to be really. I need to make a new one. <coughs> it's the Savage Translum Heavyweight Frame. And if we put this, if we put this here, blocking the light something like this, as close as possible to the product, so it will not be shown in the frame, hopefully. Tiny bit, a clamp, the small A clamp. Let's take another one. The shadows are very different and, of course, it became much darker because this Translum Heavyweight, it kills two stops of light. So, what to do? Well, we just increase the power of the flash two stops. B flash B and then I hold this in energy plus one plus two and then we should be back where we were before. Yes. The, the shadows will be much more smoothed out because now we have a bigger light source not as small and they kind of but we still have this nice gradient on the matte surface because the matte surface can work with small light sources and big light sources. I think we need a bit more power. I think I will go up half a stop on the B flash and I see that the back one is kind of dark. Wasn't the back one nicer before? Yes, it got much more light before. It's like a battle without, take down the power a bit, Without the diffusion, I think they look extremely nice. I think they look nicer without diffusion, but I'm not that big fan of the shadow. It's a battle, decisions, all these decisions, you know. Hmm, maybe we should uh, do a composite. Use the shadows on one, on this one, but on the hard drives, we, we, we take a shot without the diffusion, maybe. Cheat a bit, but now, Let's talk about the third flash, if we should use that one. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. C, C, the C flash. Let's take a shot. Woo! Very powerful. It looks like CG. 
One stop, two stop, three stop, four stop, five stops, six stop. Okay. Lowest power, maybe a bit too low. Maybe go up half stop. You know, it's I always do it like this. I just turn on the flash and pointing it and then I'm testing the the power of the flash. And I look at the screen. Do I want more? Do I want less? Like I told you, this flash is shooting uh, a bit, uh, it goes over. And it's the same with this guy, actually. He's also shooting like he's hitting on the top here. And that makes it gradient going down, as you can see on the screen there. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I think we will use that one. It's nice to have a bit of a, a rim light. I, w I think I will take this away. And then go down two stops. One, two, shoot. I think they look more crispy, of course. Smaller light source hitting it. This nice matte surface fading off a bit. What will happen? CTB blue filter. And then we need to up the power. No. No. Welcome to the 90s. Yes, I think this is it. Kind of simple, but a few small tips, I hope. The whole idea with this uh, channel is that I want to spread, I mean, it's like photography for the masses, you know. That's my philosophy, if you will. Um, instead of I release very expensive tutorials for many hundreds of dollars and uh, only a few can afford them, then I think it's better that I give away as much as possible for as little as possible, sort of, you know. If many sh ships in like five dollars, then anyone can learn photography. This is the, the whole goal about this channel. And the second goal is that you should come here, actually, you know. Sub's choice is a big part of this channel. It was the main idea, not only me standing here. I want you to come here, bring something, and I'll show you how to photograph it. Just email join at budvisson.se and come here. And then we will film the next sub's choice. Okay, enough about this. Don't forget to subscribe. You know, 60% of you who's watching right now are not subscribing, but you keep coming back. So don't be lazy. Create a Gmail and then you can log in and then you can subscribe and then you can hit the bell and then you get notifications and you, you, know, you don't miss any episodes. So I would really appreciate if you do that. And thumbs up or thumbs down, you know, doesn't matter as usual. See you next time.